good evening. I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the biblical meditation of Anne Graham Lotz for the 26th of October, which was yesterday. I was unable to finish uh, all the meditations before I went away, and I didn't do all of them, in fact. So I will do it, although the I've read it just briefly now. I don't agree with the context where she said this took place or when, just before. It wasn't just before, but I will read it as she wrote it with a footnote that I disagree with the timing, the timing and the description. But the story is true. The story is absolutely true, but it never took place uh, prior, just prior to um, Jesus' crucifixion. It happened at some point, but it, not at that particular point that she has described. Maybe it's just because she's a beautiful writer and she allowed, um, um, you know, writers like to put stories in their own context. But this is not factually correct as, as to the timing. But it's a true story. It really was one of the stories about Jesus exactly. Uh, as as it was told and described, but not at the point that point in time. That's all, my only dispute on that. So I'll begin with one or two prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. This is the book by... Anne Graham Lotz, The Joy of My Heart, Meditating Daily on God's Word. The story is truthful, but the, the timing is incorrect. And it's for October the 26th, and we're in year 2022. And she's given it a title, A Sacrificial Sacrifice. And the reading is from Hebrews 13, verse 16. And she's got the words as the, in the new KJV version. Do not forget to do good and to share. For with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Shortly before his crucifixion, Jesus was the honoured guest at a feast held in one of his favourite homes. While Jesus was reclining at the dinner table, along with Lazarus and other guests, Lazarus's sister, Mary, and this is also incorrect, entered the room with a pint of very expensive perfume equal to a year's wages that would have been her dowry. Mary took the perfume that represented her future hopes and dreams, poured it on the feet of Jesus and wiped them with her hair. When she was criticised by those in the room as being exceedingly wasteful, Jesus sharply rebuked them while gently praising her for a beautiful act of sacrificial worship. How extravagant is your sacrifice to God. Do you give God 
as little as you think you can get by with. A little bit of energy and effort when you are not too tired. A little bit of time you have no use for. A little bit of money you do not really need yourself. A sacrifice is not a sacrifice until it is a sacrifice. And the last words are the best, best words on the page and you've done very well with that. But I don't um, agree with everything that is in here was at that particular time. But you've told the story beautifully. You've made your point beautifully. But um, there's several stories put together in here. But God bless you for doing it because you've made a good point. A sacrificial sacrifice. No pain, no gain, as they say, is the um, athlete's... Um, but it's also spiritual too. Yes, I, I, I like her writing. This is the only one that's ever caused me to stir a bit and say I don't quite agree with uh, where the uh, all of it's been put together. But it's nevertheless, you've made a very good point. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And you can search the scriptures and find the stories. Notwithstanding, the Bible came down directly from the apostles. It was written 60, 70 years after Jesus' death, the Bible. And also, we in the Catholic Church have a little more history than the other denominations who took the Bible, used it and and well used it too, but it, there's more to tradition than just the Bible. And Jesus himself was the sacrifice on the cross for all of us. God bless you.